Hey guys, this is Dirt Dragon, and I am quickly doing a little tutorial. It's how to do the chroma key within Minecraft. Like my previous video shows, um, I made like a clip of Darksiders when I was playing the video game. Uh, I recently bought that game because Darksiders 2 is coming out, and I'm like, oh, I should really play this because I never got around to it. But first thing you have to do while uh, getting your everything set up for your chroma key is you have to go to your Minecraft. You have to you have to get a your Minecraft uh, texture pack files, which is here. Uh, Minecraft bin. Uh, you open with WinRAR or 7-Zip, whichever you use. I'm just gonna close that for now. So you don't need it. You scroll all the way down until you find your train folder. Oop, that's not it. Uh, your train up here. Here we go. You grab this, you drag it to your desktop or wherever you want. Uh, I've already done that, so you just drag this to that desktop or whatever. And then you edit it. I'm just going to edit with Adobe Fireworks. Um, it didn't install correctly for me, so I have to do trial version. I'm going to fix that up and install it properly later, because I actually own it. I bought it a little while back. Right when it came out, I'm like, oh, I really need to do video editing. So it's just, I just installed the Windows, so yeah. Uh, then we're gonna zoom in. Oh, that's wrong key. Can zoom in. And what I did for my uh, uh, chroma key is I got the glowstone lamp. And normally this is the glowstone lamp on state right here. It's glowstone lamp on. I, I, I filled it in two separate textures. That's why it's doing that. Uh, it makes it so your chroma key you're not always using it. So uh, you could turn it on and off if you're like your green screen. You could turn your green screen basically on and off in game for like convenience sake or anything. You could technically make any block you wanted this bright green color. But for my sake I just made glowstone, it's easy. You can just use redstone inputs to toggle it. So what you do is you just grab your uh where is it? Here you go. You get basically pencil, you make it green, and then you just color it in. And you save that. And then what you do is after you save it. Oops, sorry. Uh percent uh, percent there we go. Uh, you can come over here, Minecraft, spin. Either what you could do is directly add it to your Minecraft jar. Like, you can go to your open with WinRAR or 7-Zip, you can drag it straight in. Or, what you can do is you can create yourself a texture pack. If you don't know how to do that, uh, just drag it straight into your jar file. Otherwise, you can create yourself a texture pack. Like, uh, that's what I have. I have my chroma key texture pack, which is everything's the exact same except for my green screen, which is a chroma key. So, after you do that, what it looks like in game is actually there we go single player. Uh, it's a little bit slow. There we go because it's running. So oh, 90 FPS. Ah, eh, whatever. So what it is is you have your glowstone lamps like this, right? You pull your lever or whatever, and it turns into your green screen. This is what my green screen looks like. I just have a little secondary lever here. So if you really wanted to, you can be like have this off and you can I have it cool I have it all timed so it all flips on at the same time. But if you go into F5 mode, third person, you can have it like standing like this and you can flip this lever and then it can have like a background on if you really wanted to. So I'm gonna turn that off. And that's basically what it is in game. Uh the rest is fairly simple. Uh what I did is I I made it all timed, so I did that. And I did this just to time it, just because I felt like uh being different and then under there there's some more stuff. What the hell Ah, decent. Um, so, yeah, this is just my redstone mechanic stuff world. So, I'm just going to go over and grab Sony Vegas. It's a clip I've already made. So, let's drag it over from the screen. Uh, it'll probably record the audio of this. So, yeah. But, basically, this is just a pre-made clip I made. Uh, I'll just drag it over here. This is the video that I had. So, I had it. So, uh, I have the video split right here and right here that's where the chroma key just starts and just barely begins so you don't want the entire thing chroma keyed you just want the part you're recording so what I have it recording like this see that that's really cool I thought that was like so cool let's just see that slow motion because why not Whoa. Uh, over here we flip it and then it just the glowstone lamps just turn off three at a time and it looks really really cool because it just cuts across the screen and shows the background and I'm going to show you how to do that. Well, well, the redstone setup actually is all it really does. That's basically how the entire Chrome key runs. And I am hitting the wrong button. Uh, zoom out is shit. I forget to zoom out. 
Okay, uh, uh never. Mm, grr. I, I, I just. Okay, never mind. Uh, I'll just reopen this quickly. Sony Vegas, where are you at? Sony Vegas, there we go. Oh, it opens, it's opening over there, but it should pop up here. There we go. That's better. Um, what you do is you have your chroma key part it. Like I said before, you split it right at the beginning and end of your chroma key. Then what you do is you go into this, you click this little, uh, this here, video effects. And then what you do is, oh crap, uh, let's just do it to this one because I haven't done anything to this. Click this. Oh. I'm doing really bad with this. There we go. Click there, and then here is the Sony Chroma Key. You click OK, and what we do is you click the eyedropper tool. And crap, this is a bad example. Uh, am yeah, yeah. I might actually have to do this over again? Grr. Oh, okay. Here we go. This is better because I actually have a Chroma Key within this video. If I can find it, you are here. There we go. So I click this, and then I go Chromebook here, then I click OK, and then I click the eyedropper tool, and then I click, you can actually click on the screen, you click right there, it'll turn it black, see that? And then uh, what you do is you click the, well it's working, right, and you click show mask, see how some of it's like white and black, right? You want to drag the thresholds, like this, the low threshold and the high threshold, uh, the low thresholds actually I think, uh, that's decent. Turn it up a little bit. High threshold. Basically, you want it to be as close to just black and white as possible. So yeah, the threshold doesn't matter. Turn this down a little bit. You have to, everyone's different. And at the, see how it has little jagged edges there. What you want to do is you want to change it up a little bit so it's just barely blurred. So it's not as jagged. So I put it like between 0 0.01 and 0 0.05. Anywhere around there is pretty good. And if you want to, you can change the colors to make it work. But I already have mine's already tuned, memorized from last time. That should all be good, right? Then you click animate, and then you click the exit button. And then what you'll do? Ah, oh, crap! I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, guys. Uh, but first, you turn the mask off, and then you click animate, and then exit. Your Chrome key is black, as you can see. And if I were to grab like this, I'm just gonna grab a different clip quickly. Computer D. Uh, fraps movies, and I'm just gonna grab a. Oh, sorry, I'll show you me grabbing it. Grab this and drag it down here. I think yeah, it's this. Oh, it's the exact same clip. Never mind. So yeah. Uh, then what you can do is I'm just gonna go over here. I'm just gonna click something random and split it and delete this. Uh, actually, I'm gonna make it smaller. It's not gonna look good or anything, but whatever. I'm just going to drag it over to where my chroma key is. The chroma key is here. I think. There's a, there's a chroma key. So if I drag this over here, and when the chroma key is on, it looks really funny from this angle. <laughs> but watch. Uh, oh crap. Sorry. Forgot something. You always want to. If you. Backgrounds, my backgrounds are loud, so I'm going to mute it. Sorry about that, guys. Probably really loud in your ears. Sorry, that was just my own voice in the background, and that's basically it to green screening. Except, one last thing I completely forgot, and I said it at the beginning of the video, and I'm just going to say it now, is wherever you're green screening it, like when this is on, where is it on? I don't know where it's on, but here, if I just click on this, and then I click this, the actual video is just like this. So it's just me flicking a switch, turning it on. And me just standing there, right? And then turns off. But all together, it puts this in the background and looks like that. See? That's cool. So, I think that's it. No, I'm not going to save changes. That's it. It's really simple. I uh, hope this tutorial wasn't too long on you guys. So, uh, this is Dirt Dragon right here. As you can see, Dirt Dragon, yay. Uh, saying see ya